VSVS team members will distribute the following materials to eight groups of three to four students. One plate, one bottle of water, two 10 ounce cups, one pair of scissors, one packet of two effervescent tablets, one 3.5 ounce cup filled with ice to the 50 ml line, and one empty 3.5 ounce cup marked with the 50 ml line. One observation sheet and one instruction sheet. Carefully cut open one end of the packet of effervescent tablets. Remove the effervescent tablets from the, pack <clears throat> from the packet and add a whole tablet to each of the 10 ounce clear dry cups. Fill each of the 3.5 ounce cups with water to the 50 ml line. Place the two cups with the tablets on the plate. VSVS team members will say one, two, three, and go. And on go, the students should add all the water or ice from their cups to the tablets in the 10 ounce cups at the exact same time from the exact same height. One, two, three, go. Record all observations on the observation sheet. Demonstration. Take the bottle of red coloring solution and add 5 ml to one graduated cylinder and 20 ml to the other. Fill both graduated cylinders to the 100 ml mark with water. Hold the graduated cylinders up so students can see the difference in the intensity of the red coloring. VSVS team members will distribute the following materials to eight groups of three to four students. One Ziploc bag containing two 10 ounce clear plastic cups labeled strong 20% and weak 5%. Two containers with 50 ml of 20% vinegar and weak 5% vinegar, one container of baking soda, and one spoon. Place the vinegar solutions beside the matching cup. Add a level spoon of baking soda to each cup. On go, the students should add all the vinegar solution from their respective containers to the cups of baking soda at the exact same time from the exact same height. One, two, three, go. Record the results. Show the students the Lycodium dust powder. Place a small pile of powder on the aluminum pan and attempt to light it with a match. Light the tea candle and place it on the aluminum pan.
Load the pipette with a small amount of dust powder, enough to fill the tip. Hold the pipette so the tip is above the flame, and squeeze the, squeeze the pipette bulb to release the lycodium powder into the flame. VSVS team members will distribute the following materials to eight groups of three to four students. Two 10 ounce cups, one packet of two effervescent tablets, one small Ziploc bag. Place the two 3.5 ounce measuring cups on the plate. Fill the two cups to the mark using the bottle of water. Carefully cut open the packet of effervescent tablets and remove them from the packet. Place one whole tablet at the bottom of one of the dry 10 ounce plastic cups. Place the other tablet in a small Ziploc bag. Seal the bag and crush the tablet by tapping on the bag with the water bottle or the palm of your hand. Shake all of the crushed tablet into one bottom cor corner and cut the other bottom corner off. Then pour the crushed tablet through the bottom cut corner into the other dry 10 ounce plastic cup. Ask students to observe the two tablets now and ask which tablet has more surface area. Tell students they should be ready to pour all the contents into the cups on the count of one, two, three. One, two, three, go. Record the results. Demonstration. Light the tea light candle and place it in the coffee can. Load the pipette with a small amount of dust powder. Show the students the hole in the side of the can. Holding the pipette at a 30 degree, degree angle, place the pipette in the hole. Place the lid on the can. Squeeze firmly on the pipette and leave the pipette in the hole after squeezing. Demonstration. Remove the clear jar containing hydrogen peroxide from the demo bag. Show the bottle to the students, informing them that it is a 1.5 solution of hydrogen peroxide. Unscrew the cap on the jar and set the cap down on the table and continue holding the jar. Get a spoon of manganese dioxide. Light a splint with a match and shake it out until it is glowing without flame. Tell students to watch what happens when the spoon of manganese dioxide is added to the jar. As soon as you see vigorous bubbling with what appears to be a gas coming from the jar, insert the glowing splint into the top of the jar.
Observe that the splint bursts into flames. Demonstration. The VSVS team should add some hydrogen peroxide to the cup with the potato. Bring the potato around to the students and ask what they observe.